The systems are corrupted. Our minds are corrupted. TVs and radios, the news and daily shows are under corruption. This wickedness then scolded us and molded us, assistant torn us upon, left a hole in us. I said this wickedness then scolded us and molded us, assistant torn us apart and left a hole in us. This wasn't no Disney cruise we boarded hundreds of years ago. We thought no one heard our cries. We were in chains and despised, but God did for sure. You see, he devised a divine plan, and our challenge is just to let it finish and flow on our journeys back to our souls in this life, whether your personal path be fast or slow. When I first conceived of uh, doing a hour and a half docudrama, it was a result of the exhibit that we have called From Freedom to Slavery to Freedom. It's a 72 piece exhibit where we have things that we have researched from our book, Psychic Trauma When Nations Gather. And we put this exhibit together and it opened up at the Holocaust Museum in New Mexico. And I realized something special was happening because some of the educators that was coming to see the exhibit, they asked, what is this thing called freedom? We know about slavery and freedom, but we don't know about freedom, slavery, and freedom. So this fascinated me. I said, if our teachers are not aware that we are free people, that we're captured and sold in slavery, that means they're teaching a complete slave experience to our young people. So I said, as an elder, and understand that the ancient Greeks of Africa were storytellers. They were the people that could tell wonderful stories. They could tell generation and generation after generation. So I said, what is a hip hop artist? They're storytellers. They're talking about their experience in the hood. And I'm from the hood. And I, I said, well, if I put myself as an elder, in the shoes of the hip hop generation, what would I want to see? So rather than for me to make that determination myself, I went to the Hip Hop Summit in St. Louis and I asked them, what is it that you want to see? What is it that you want from this experience, from this information, uh, from my exhibit? And they say, tell the story like you did in the book. Slavery, the African American side of the the nations gather. Make it in video form so it's accessible to everyone. So that's the beginning of the experience. There's many young people across the country that have been incarcerated, that have read psychic trauma and they changed their lives forever. The intent of this ancient is to put it in popular video form. So you can sit down, whether you're in your hall, whether you're in the theater and watch a hip hop journey with the ancestors and let the ancestor spirit touch your heart as well. We have interviewed educators. Educators we had, we asked a question in order to give a foundation. Uh, we had an interview with the various educators uh, and, and as you see their comment, we realized is that the educators became fascinated with this idea of taking hip hop and using it to teach history. And some of their performances and some of these young people became brilliant. They took the verse and the spoken word and they claimed their heritage as black men and women here in America. And it was a glorious experience for me. So I'm just grateful to be a part of it. As a matter of fact, uh, people say you're direct, you directed this piece, but I think that I was directed. It was directed because we connected with our young. It was a young generation with the elders, and we walked together hand in hand. That's a beautiful experience. So I'm proud to have been taught myself by the younger generation.